So then we are back with more understandings from the uh, Renewed Covenant, from the uh, Aramaic English translation. And um, there is a topic very important speaking of, and there is deceit. We as Americans, at least a lot of us yet, we are born and we always learn not to be deceitful. We learn the truth and we abide by it. And we treat our friends and other American citizens with respect, consideration, and without deceit. In a great part, that's why this nation became sovereign regarding these areas. But then later, Lots of people came to this country and they didn't have the same values. So truly there is no more deceit regarding religion. Never again deceit. There is no church outside of the camp. There are no ministries outside of the camp. And people must be informed. If they want to be nice, please be nice, but don't link being nice with the Creator. There is no link. That's okay, we can be nice and help each other, that's great. But when it comes to belief, then there is a certain way and a certain way only. the true Messiah and his father is Yahweh the true creator if we want to believe in another type of God we have the liberty to do so unfortunately but no more deceit this is truly it We begin to understand more and more and more, so then we encourage the saved the Hebrew brothers to return to their camps and please help us with ministries. We want to hear from heaven true words, true anointings, true prophecies, true words of wisdom, true words of knowledge, miracles. Tongues and interpretation of tongues, discerning of spirits, prophecies. We want to clean up our country and ourselves. Never again deceit. American people won't be deceived anymore. We shall learn what the truth is and later or at the moment a person must make a decision. There is no more Torah shoving in the throats. every sector of the renewed covenant then people are informed what they do with it it's another situation they must be informed what the truth is what you do with it it's another situation 
it is preferable repentance but no person has the right of forcing or shoving but you do have the privilege of listening the truth So then there are many areas then people can be more enlightened. We share. We don't force other people. We explain. Because we want the people to be encouraged and informed. What is badly lacking in the regular Bibles are Takanot and Masim. Translators did not translate it because they didn't understand what it was. Never again deceit. People must be informed and properly. Because then the spirit of Elohim can do his work. Read the Aramaic translation is the closest can ever get from the Hebrew. And begin a nice search. Begin searching. And there are very many devout people, they spend time reading. And then besides, there are areas in, for instance, uh, Acts, that shows you the Acts of Ruach HaKodesh. And you begin to understand that the true Mashiach, it's truly a delight spending time in the Word. Because he enlightens every time. When you read the false copy, as if you were drained. Have you ever tried to read the scriptures and you ever felt drained from reading it? It's because of the false anointing that draws the life out of you. You begin to read those words back. Because there is a spiritual false anointing with it. And then draws the life of the person. It's disgusting. When you begin to read a worthy copy such as the Aramaic, it's amazing. You begin to be interested. It is absolutely amazing. begin to be acquainted with so many areas and rather than repudiating then it becomes interesting and got my first a copy of the Aramaic English spend hours and hours and hours reading 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 couldn't get enough see what 
is this? What is this desire is coming from? And the person behind was the influence of Ruach HaKodesh. The true spirit of the true Elohim, the creator Yahweh himself. Absolutely amazing. Never had such a desire of reading the word. They began also to underline it. Couldn't stop. Day after day after day after day after day. The whole renewed covenant is nearly underlined. Notes everywhere. Because it began then a journey. A journey that there is no end. But always new understandings. And the most important and in these new learnings is when you share with other people it is so amazing to get this awe from people and then you sense the creator himself at work it's a very pleasing sense person gets enlightened as if a person was charged with a, a divine charge absolutely amazing encourage any person any time to get a copy of the Aramaic and begin to study you are going to like it it doesn't drain the life out of you, but then gives you it is worth it. Get your copy. Much more coming up.